Hello everyone, this is Monkle Zonky, and welcome to my Glacier's Guide. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to make extreme bank loot um, and also gain a lot of XP per hour. So I have tested this pretty extensively, um, and I have come to the conclusion that you can make um, about 6 to 7 mil per hour. It depends on the prices of the GE boots. With my testing, if you can get 100 plus kills an hour, I was averaging about 105 kills an hour with this method. Um, then you're going to be able to get about 6.5 mil per hour average. That's that's considering the fact that you get three boots per staff, which is the average. And I just, since it's an average of three boots per staff and there's three boots total, I just figured that um, on average you're going to get one of each boot per staff. With that in mind, um, it's about 6.5 mil per hour and the price of boots is rising, so about 7 mil per hour in GP, which is quite good. You're also going to get about 500k magic or defense XP per hour. Um, I have also tested this extensively, and although there's a lot of rumors circulating around that you can get um, 600k, 700k magic XP per hour, uh, this is not true. It's more about 500k XP per hour uh, with practice when you get really good. It's about 550k. Um, that is not including hit points XP, so you have to add that on as well. So it's more like 700, 750k an hour with the hit points XP. So before we start, I'm going to go over the gear setup and the inventory. Um, so first of all, in my yak, if you don't have a yak, you can bring a war tortoise, but just fill it full of prayer potions. Um, I'm only using prayer potions and not flasks because uh, you can stay a bit longer with flasks, but it takes literally about 60 seconds to bank anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, and the regular potions save you a bit of money. And then I have three overload flasks, three renewal flasks. Um, I have runes for fire surge, which you want to be using yak scrolls to bank the rune drops and stuff, an extra yak pouch. Um, because since I'm using the Penasaur this trip, I'll be there about an hour and a half since the Penasaur really helps with the prayer drain. And I will show you a couple of other auras that you can use alternatively. Um, and then the Charming Collector to collect your charms. And for the gear setup, I'm wearing the Mighty Slayer helmet. Uh, if you have this, wear it because it has an all type, which means it defends the equal amount of armor for all styles. Um, so there's two different setups you can use. Uh, well, three, you can use like a tank setup with sea singers um, or something like that, which I would not recommend because uh, it's better to have offensive capabilities. You can wear a full uh, offensive setup with Virtus. I have tested full Virtus here. It barely makes a difference at all, um, so I don't wear it just because I prefer to have the money that I would spend on Virtus in cash instead so I can use it for flipping and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm wearing is I'm wearing War Priest robes. If you have these, I would highly recommend them. They are hybrid gear, so they defend against magic and range equally, which is very nice. Uh, don't wear RMs or anything below that, um, unless that's all you can afford and you don't have War Priest, but if you have War Priest, wear that. If you don't have a max cape, uh, that's fine. Wear a skill cape. You can wear a god cape if you're pretty confident in your abilities here, but I'd recommend a skill or max cape for the defensive bonus because, again, that's an all type, so it's going to give 44 um, armor defense to both magic and range. And then I have a Virtus wand and Virtus book. Um, Chaotic staff is almost as good here. It is not quite as good here, but it is very close to as good here. So if you don't have these, if you just want to use a chaotic staff, that's fine. It's more a difference between getting 105 kills an hour and getting maybe 98 to 100 kills an hour. It's not a huge difference. In the long run, you will want to have Virtus 1 and Book, but chaotic staff is almost as good. I have Virtus gloves because um, they're cheap to repair and I had them in my bank anyway. Uh, if you don't have these, I'd recommend just War Priest gloves. They work fine. Uh, Rage Fire boots, it's nice to have these because of the defense and the health bonus. Um, you could also wear War Priest boots or something like that. Um, I have a 6 aid circuit for the um, critical for the magic is 2.7% critical. That's pretty good. My aura I'm using this trip is Penance. Um, I'll show you a few alternative auras you can use in just a second. And my scrimshaw of the elements, uh, what this does is it gives you bonus damage for magic. So um, you can buy these from the GE. They're about 500k each, and they last for three hours. So if that feels like it's worth it to you, it is. Um, it's kind of like the co it, it costs about the same as it would to use overloads for three hours, and it helps. Um, it doesn't help quite as much as overloads, but it's almost as much of a damage boost as overloads are. So if you have it, use it. So finally, the last part of the gear setup is um, the ores to use. 
if your ore is recharging, if penance is recharging, penance is the ore you always want to use first here, um, and after penance you want to use vampirism, and after vampirism you want to use um, some other kind of aura. Uh, I tried. I like supreme runic accuracy. It boosts your accuracy, uh, which isn't really needed here, but it does help a little bit. Um, another thing that you can use is reverence. If you have reverence upgraded, it's going to make your prayer last longer. Uh, if you have supreme reverence, it'll make your prayer last like 10% longer. So uh, that's a pretty good aura. You can use it as well. It's not as good as penance. But anyway, now that um, all the gear stuff is finally out of the way, um, I'll talk about the action bar just while I'm walking over there. So I use rack, combust, concentrated blast, and impact on my action bar. You do not want to use the chain ability on the glacier itself. Only use that on the minions. Um, because the chain ability, there is a glitch where this doesn't always happen, but every once in a while the chain ability will hit a glacier and it will hit another glacier as well. So you'll have two glaciers on you at once and you won't be able to damage the second one. So don't use the chain ability on the glaciers themselves. Only use it on the minions. Um, you want asphyxiate and wild magic. You want to use those as much as possible. And metamorphosis. Um, do not use sunshine, even though sunshine is better than metamorphosis because you do run around here a lot. Um, and you won't be able to stand in the sunshine circle kind of thing. Uh, I have freedom on here as well, just in case uh, you get trapped by the glacier frozen, and then he tries to spike you. Um, so that's handy. And these three, don't even worry about them. But anyway, we now are at the glacier cave. So it's pretty simple, straightforward what you do here. Just activate your scrimshaw and your aura, pot up and uh, select your quick prayers which I do not have at the moment but you want to be using torment and soul split so keep those two on at all time turn the quick prayers on and let's go um, so until you work your way up to the threshold abilities you want to use concentrated blast quite a bit um, because that does a lot of DPS for a basic ability um, as soon as the minions spawn attack the middle minion uh, use any ability against him, it really doesn't matter. Uh, back up, use the chain ability, and use wild magic, and the enduring will be dead. And then the sapping glacite, just use any two abilities, it really doesn't matter. And then unstable, use concentrated blast, and that will kill him. And uh, the goal, how you get 100 kills an hour, the best way to monitor your progress and make sure that you get 100 kills an hour, if you kill all three glacites, um, before the unstable one blows up, you will get 100 kills an hour or more. So that's basically the threshold there. Um, so your goal every time the minion spawns is every time the minion spawn is to kill all three minions before the unstable one explodes. Um, so most of the time you will be able to achieve that. You won't be able to achieve it every time just because uh, just the nature of this game. Sometimes the hits are a bit random. Um, but most of the time you will be able to kill all three minions before the unstable one explodes and not only do you get more XP for doing this because you get the 990 uh, XP from the unstable one for killing him before he explodes so that's always nice as well um, but it always also is just a good uh, I guess thing to monitor your progress by so as soon as you get it up to the ultimate uh, adrenaline bar uh, immediately use your metamorphosis ability and uh, just use basics with it. Um, it only lasts 20 seconds, so it's not going to last too long. It's not going to help too much, but it will boost your damage by quite a bit for the 20 seconds that it is active. So you definitely want to be using that one as much as possible. Um, anyway, that's about, I mean, there's not really a whole lot else to killing Glacors. Uh, I can say that it does, with uh, practice, does come perfect, so you're not going to be able to... Um, get maximum kills an hour and maximum XP an hour right away the first time you try it out. Um, I guess the main thing I could recommend is do try not to have too much downtime, so don't have too much time where you're just standing around or running over to pick up the drop. Always be attacking a Glacier. Uh, that's another handy thing about having the Charming Collector is you don't have to waste time picking up charms. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Um, I know it's kind of long. But uh, I can tell you for a fact that the XP rates are about 500k magic to 550k magic per hour um, in that range and uh, about 7 mil cash an hour if you're really going hard and that is average that is not if you get lucky that is average 7 mil an hour so if you get, if you get lucky it can be even more than that um, and if you don't believe me hey try it out for yourself but anyway that's about all for this video thanks for watching hopefully it helped hopefully you guys will make some mad cash and xp here and farewell